It's Monday, October 16th. My name is Rich, and this is your 5-Minute Fix. Welcome to the 5-Minute Fix, where we take stories about pretty much anything from pretty much anywhere and try to give it to you in 5 minutes or less. Today, uh, y'all remember this? Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? That was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh oh. Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. So that was from what? Last year at some point. And it appears since then, Jada Pinkett is on a rampage to make Will Smith's life a living hell. What am I talking about? Well, lately, all of her talk about how much she misses Tupac, you know, saying they're soulmates and all that kind of stuff. But even overall, over the last couple of years, it seems that she is on a mission to make Will Smith look like the teeniest little human being on the planet. And quite frankly, to me, it's wild. Let's talk about it. Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith were separated for six years before Oscar slap. Quote, I made a promise that there will never be a reason for us to get a divorce, Pinkett Smith told NBC in a new interview, but she confirmed we live separately. No reason for them to get a divorce. What are you? I, I don't even understand what she means by that statement. In the 18 months since Will Smith slapped Chris Rock at the Oscars over a joke he made about his wife's shaved head, Jada Pinkett Smith has said very little about the incident until now. Ahead of her upcoming memoir, Worthy, out on October 17th, Pinkett Smith revealed to people that she and her husband have been separated for six years prior to the 2022 Oscars. Quote, we're still figuring it out, Pinkett Smith said of their marriage. We've been doing some really heavy duty work together. We just got deep love for each other and we are going to figure out what that looks like for us. Yo, a deep love for you. Uh <sighs> In a separate clip from her upcoming sit down with Hoda Cobb, Jada Story, an NBC News special, which airs on October 13th, Pinkett Smith elaborated on her and Smith's dynamic. I made a promise that there will never be a reason for us to get a divorce. We will work through whatever, and I just haven't been able to break that promise, she said, but also confirmed we live separately. Again, I don't even know. We're gonna go over some of these, some of the actions over the last few years, but again, I don't know. Pinkett Smith told people that before her husband slapped Chris Rock, I thought this was a skit. I was like, there's no way that Will hit him. It wasn't until Will started to walk back to his that I even realized it wasn't a skit. Her first words to Smith once they were alone were, are you okay? The incident occurred only moments before Smith accepted the Best Actor Award for King Richard. It resulted in the actor resigning from the Academy and being banned from attending the ceremony for the next decade. I'm going to be by his side, Pinkett Smith said of her husband, but also allow him to have to figure this out for himself. Elsewhere in the piece, Pinkett Smith gave insight into issues in their relationship. Once I met Will, I completely abandoned my mental health, she said. I was so intoxicated by him and our dynamic. I really felt like I'm cured. Pinkett Smith said she stopped taking Prozac because, quote, he became the drug, end quote. Smith shared his side of the story in 2021, telling GQ, Jada never believed in conventional marriage. Jada had family members that had unconventional relationships, so she grew up in a way that was very different than how I grew up. There were significant endless discussions about what is relational perfection, what is the perfect way to interact as a couple, and for the large part of our relationship, monogamy was what we chose, not thinking of monogamy as the only relational perfection. We have given each other trust and freedom, and the belief that everybody has to find their own way, and marriage for us can't be a prison, and I don't suggest our road for anybody. I don't suggest this road for anybody, but the experiences that the freedoms that we've given one another and the unconditional support to me is the highest definition of love. So guys, you know, obviously that uh, that little statement from there uh, is from 2021 in GQ before the Oscar slap. Now, obviously a lot has transpired since then. In fact, uh, let's go over a little bit of a checklist here that I have of just exactly the type of stuff that Will Smith has had to endure from Jada Pinkett over the last few years. So first thing, there's the entanglement with August Alsina. Uh, this is like one of the most prominent controversies uh, involving Jada Pinkett Smith. Her admission of having an entanglement, aka the D sliding into the V, with August Alsina while they, uh, by Will and uh, Jada, were briefly separated. And I think the worst part about it is that uh, this all was talked about on their Facebook show, Red Table Talk, which, if I'm not mistaken, might have been canceled by now, but I'm not sure. Don't, don't quote me on that. 
time. Uh, there's also the allegations of an open marriage. The Smiths have faced ongoing rumors and speculation regarding the nature of their marriage, with some suggesting that they have an open relationship. While they have denied this, their unconventional approach to marriage has sparked controversy and discussions, which in that article is something that they talked about as well. Will Smith talked about in 2021 GQ magazine. Um, like I mentioned earlier, the oversharing on Red Table Talk, you know, just uh, obviously they're a family in the public spotlight, but some things are better left either unsaid or just, you know, kept in home behind closed doors. And then there's just Jada Pinkett continually going off about how much she misses Tupac and uh, how she wish wishes that she, uh, you know, could have explored a relationship with him more, that kind of thing. Just, you know, just a slap in the face to her husband, uh, where she said, quote, if there is such thing as past lives, I definitely think Pac and I have traveled a few together in various forms. When asked if she ever regretted not taking things to the next level, she responded, it just wasn't possible. But uh, like I said, to air those things out publicly, Ooh, not a good look, homie, not a good look. So I'd like to know, what do you guys think about all of this? Are you guys kind of mind boggled like I am about why Jada Pinkett would just be so brutally honest about her relationship in the public eye? Uh, nothing wrong with brutal honesty, but come on, give your man some slack. Like you don't have to humiliate somebody because this is humiliating. Regardless of what anybody thinks, I believe this is humiliating to somebody, regardless of who it is. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. My name is Rich, and this has been your 5-Minute Fix.